So this problem says to find x, round to the nearest whole unit. In this triangle, the x is part of this non-dotted triangle, but the non-dotted triangle is not a right triangle. So we won't be able to use a trig ratio to find x. What we could do though is we have this large triangle that is a right triangle and we have another right triangle that's this mini triangle that I'm tracing here. So let's think about there could be different ways to find different sides and different angles um, but since since x is part of this non-dotted triangle, I'm going to try to find some parts of that non-dotted triangle. Let's think about this right triangle. If I have this angle and this side length, I could find the hypotenuse using the sine. So let me call this side length, I'll call it A. And we can write, since the 143 is opposite and the A is hypotenuse, let's use that sine of an angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Plugging the numbers that we have in, we get sine of 70 degrees is equal to the opposite side is 143 divided by side length A, which is the hypotenuse. Now keep in mind that since 143 has a unit of feet, A will also have a unit of feet. Now to solve for A, since A is in the denominator, we need to get A out of the denominator. So let's multiply both sides by A, since this A and this A will cancel, and it leaves us with A times sine 70 is equal to 143. From here, to finish solving for A, it's now multiplied by sine 70. So let's do the inverse operation and divide both sides by sine 70. So these two sine 70s will cancel and we'll get A is equal to, I'll grab my calculator, make sure it's in degree mode, and it gives me 143 divided by sine of 70 is equal to 152.1, let's say 152.2, because I got in my calculator 152.17, and that's a unit of feet. So this side length right here is 152.2 feet. Next, we have, we know this 43, we know this side length. We're looking for this x. So if we had um, a relationship between opposite angle and side length, we could solve for x if we could find this angle here. So let's start with the formula that relates opposite side lengths and angles is the sine law. It says that sine of A over, or you usually write it as a capital A because it's an angle, sine of capital A divided by the opposite side length A is equal to sine of angle B divided by its opposite side length. Whoops, that's supposed to be a B. There we go. So. If we knew this angle, we could plug in, or we can plug in so far, we know the 43 and the A, so that would be sine of 43 degrees divided by, this was our A answer, was the 152.2. That would be equal to sine of this angle here divided by our x, and the x is what we're looking for. And since we're looking for x, we need to find this angle so that we can solve for x. So how can we find this angle? 
Well, we know that this angle here is 70, and in a straight line, the angles that add up to a straight line have to add up to 180. What do we have to add to 70 to get to 180? Would be 110. So this angle is 110. We also know that the ang interior angles of a triangle have to add up to 180. So this angle plus the 110 plus the 43 will have to add up to 180. So if I grab my calculator and I do 180 minus the 43 minus the 110, that gives me 27. So this angle here would have to be 27 degrees since these three now would add up to 180. So let's plug in our 27 here. And now we have everything in this formula except the x. That means we can solve for the x. Let me give myself a little more room. And I'll start when I have a fraction equaling another fraction. I can do cross multiplication, or we can call it butterfly multiplication if we want. That looks like this. And that gets us x times sine of 43 is equal to 152.2 times sine of 27. And lastly, to get the x by itself, we need to get the sine of 43 away from the x. The sine of 43 is currently multiplied by x, so let's divide both sides by sine of 43. That will cancel out, and it leaves us with x is equal to, we can simplify, grabbing the calculator, 152.2 times sine of 27 divided by sine of 43. I get that to be 101.3, but the problem said to round to the nearest whole unit so that would be 101. And the unit, the unit was feet. So it'd be x is equal to 101 feet. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Or if you have a question that you'd like to see a video on, um, you can leave it in the comments as well or email me at the email in the description. And happy studies.